The 1966 World Cup is an iconic cultural moment in English history. May we, in 1970, be represented by a team of sportsmen as good as these winners of the World Cup. The enjoyment of winning a World Cup simply just lasts forever. This was the last time English football achieved such epic heights. Every World Cup since, the nation harks back to this great achievement and wonders, hopes, can it one day win again? The World Cup is more than a tournament. It unifies a people, galvanizes a nation through a shared intense emotion and collective hope that permeates every aspect of culture. It became almost a watershed moment, I think, for football. As players, you, you think of that moment, you dream of that moment. So Jeff Hurst was not only part of the 1966 winning team, he scored a hat-trick in the final. No man since has ever achieved such a feat. This time a chance came to West Ham's Jeff Hurst and achieved the hat-trick. It didn't seem that there were just 100,000 people there, that it seemed like the whole of the country. Sadly, today, 56 years later, almost all of the team have either died of Alzheimer's or dementia. It can't be a coincidence that the greatest team the majority of them have had either Alzheimer's or dementia. In the 1960s and before technology was able to introduce lighter footballs, the weight of that ball on their head would cause small amounts of damage. And that damage can be a risk factor for the later development of Alzheimer's disease. It's unimaginable to win a World Cup and, and not remember it because the, the beauty of it of the whole thing is, is the memory of it. I think at the time when, it was, when Ashley was going on, I didn't really feel the importance of it. Sir Jeff is now 80 and one of the few players left who remembers this culturally historic event. To preserve the detailed memory of winning the World Cup that day, Sir Jeff's memory will be carefully preserved forever on the blockchain and auctioned as an NFT. Sir Jeff has collaborated with the infamous NFT artist Reaps One. So prompted to come and preserve and understand how to capture your voice and your memory. Every single voice is like a unique fingerprint. It's unimaginable. We take that information and use it to generate a one-of-one -one digital gemstone. And that's unique in colour and unique in form in the same way that someone's voice is unique in tone and unique in shape. His literal memory immortalised. Donations from the sale will be made to help find the cure for Alzheimer's. Every future sale will continue to generate funds for the cause in perpetuity. A national treasure. Not only preserving this precious memory for English generations to come, but helping support the fight against the disease that destroys memory. Important historical artefacts and national heirlooms typically live in museums. Now, a memory can live in a blockchain for all eternity. The remaining bunch of players, the Jack Charles, the Nobby Styles, George Clones, Ray Wilsons, goodness me, I mean, just the hardest, honest bunch of players you could ever wish to meet. You know, I'm getting a bit emotional talking about it now.